Hey YouTube, Anna here. So this is my fourth time filming <laughs> this update. Um, I got a new camera for Christmas and um, when I was going on, when I was uploading my pictures and my everything to the computer, I accidentally deleted the file because I thought it was a picture. <laughs> so I don't know how to recover stuff like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me get you all up to speed. I took a break from YouTube last cycle, which was cycle number five after my miscarriage. So I had an early miscarriage in cycle number four um, via IUI. And yeah, so I figured my cycle would be kind of funky, but the fertility doctor said proceed like normal and go ahead and schedule an IUI when you ovulate. So that's what I did, but I thought I had missed my ovulation completely. Um, I was only taking like one test a day and usually I take one with like second or third morning urine and then one in the afternoon. So I thought for sure I'd missed it because I was only taking one in the afternoon, which is like the right time to take OPKs. Um, so I thought I missed it. I thought like this is just strange and weird and it was already like late teens and I was like okay I for sure missed the my ovulation which is fine and then I got a positive OPK and I was like whoa I'm like sure that this is not ovulation because I'm cycle day 21 so maybe I should take a pregnancy test so I took a sure predict pregnancy test and there was a light line. So I was all freaked out about it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> and I called up my clinic and sure enough, I had not ovulate, or I was not pregnant, but I did ovulate. So yeah, HCG was zero, but apparently sure predict showed a tiny faint line. <sighs> so that was a little frustrating, but you know, oh well. I did get an IUI on cycle day 21 or 22, and then I got my period 14 days later. So that brings us to cycle number six, my current cycle. Um, I'm taking Clomid, taking Bromocryptine, prenatal, fish oil pill, a baby aspirin. What else am I taking? Oh, vitamin B with folic acid. So I'm taking all of those drugs. I'm currently cycle day 18, but on cycle day 15, I got two positive OPKs. So one in my second or third morning urine and one in the afternoon. So um, I went in on cycle day 16, which was this past Saturday, and I got an IUI. My numbers, or my husband's numbers were all perfect and normal and awesome and my lining was about nine which I think they want anything above a six or a seven and I had a follicle on my left side measuring 18 by 12 or 14 somewhere <laughs> somewhere around there um so yeah I will be keeping notes about my two-week wait and how things are going and I'll let you know my symptoms, especially if I'm pregnant. Um, a lot of them have been pretty much the same, like bloating, fatigue, tired, you know, all that stuff. So, and uh, tender breasts. So that's sort of been my normal two-week wait symptoms. So we will see how things go. Um, yesterday I took down all of... Um, Cecilia's clothes that I've been keeping in bins in our like utility room garage thing and I went through all of them and I sort of weeded out the ones that I definitely won't reuse they're either like super stained or um, no like big events or memories attached to those clothes so I have like two huge garbage bags behind me full of baby clothes so it's really exciting and kind of sad. <laughs> I also separated the clothes into 
girl clothes by age and then I have one like medium sized bin that is a gender neutral bin. So at least the baby will have some clothes if it's a boy, like if I'm pregnant and it's a boy. <laughs> um, while we were at the clinic to get my IUI this past cycle day 18, so Saturday, um, we talked about scheduling an IVF consultation with a doctor. So we're going to be going forward with that. It will be on January 12th, which is like two days before I will um, get my period. So I should know by then if I'm pregnant or not. So Ah, they gave us a huge packet of information. I will show you right here. It's like gigantic single pages oh, of all of the medications, of how to do the injections, all that stuff. So, I don't know. I'm just sort of trying to focus on the future um, and see, yeah, and see what happens. IVF sounds scary, and it sounds like no fun. Um, not that any part of infertility sounds fun, um, but it's just, it's a lot of drugs and appointments and <laughs> surgery, you know, egg retrieval and stuff. So, yeah, it just doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> There's also, in the information, it says that I have to wait 8 to 10 weeks once the embryos are formed um, for testing. So that's like two months, two and a half months. It's a long time to wait. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And if you've gone through IVF, let me know um, sort of how it went for you. I've been following a few people's journeys and so I've sort of seen them go through this but if there are any things that you wish like oh if I'd known that beforehand I would have asked the doctor right away or whatever if there's anything like that please let me know so I can go see my doctor and be super informed and have a good list of questions besides like how much is storage um and stuff like all right, well, I think that's my big update and I will, um, yeah, that's it for my big update and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.